there, I figured I'd do a quick video because I just got my results back from an omega fatty acids blood test. First off, you guys really seem to enjoy the Vlogit style and thank you so much for all of your thoughtful feedback. The Vlogit I posted has probably gotten the fastest amount of views out of any video that I've ever posted, which is exciting and a little depressing. <laughs> my whole main goal with the Bite Sides Vegan Project is to educate people about veganism and in turn to save the animals. So if you guys do have a free moment, please watch some of the educational nuggets. I mean, I know animal testing is an intense topic, but look, there's Ubi and snow boots in that video. I promise I'm not trying to be an ungrateful asshole, but it's probably happening. No, I am very grateful for every view that I get on any of my videos and every single comment, so thank you guys so much for that. And do keep me accountable if I seem to wander away from the mission of the channel. Okay, I'm done with my shameless plug. But since you did seem to like my home tour and my lettuce booty, let me show you what a fully stocked fridge looks like after a fresh lettuce delivery. Booyah! That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now on to the actual video topic. Now when you're vegan, almost every medical professional that you run into, and a lot of random people, will always be seriously concerned about your omega-3s. And you're gonna hear something like, I see here that you're a vegan. Um, what about taking some fish oil, you know, for your omega-3s? You should really eat some fish oil. You know, at least like, eat some fish in your diet. It's not like they feel things anyway. What about your fucking fatty acids? Fish oil, fish oil, fish oil. You know, just some fish oil, fish oil. Just eat some fucking fish oil. But anyway, this video is not gonna go into all of the nitty gritty about omega fatty acids and where to get them in a vegan diet. I might do that at some point in like a midweekly mini or a main nugget. But today for the vlogette, let's just look at my results. So here's the top with my name so you can see that it's my test. And then at the bottom they have all this information. And down here it says that Dr. Ralph T. Holman, the grandfather of omega-3 pioneer of this test and inventor of the term omega-3, has a total omega-3 score of 25% that directly reflects his daily intake of fish, fish oil, and avoidance of omega-6 rich oils. So how could my vegan ass possibly compete with daily fish consumption? Let's see how I measure up. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Bam! 36%. Definitely trumped his fishy 25%. You can see here on this arrow is like the average where people fall. And there I am at the very tip. And that is why I don't need no fucking fish. My doctor who ordered these tests has been practicing for about a decade or so and said that he's never had a score come back this good. He actually assumed that I was taking omega supplements. That score came from fruit and greens. So if anyone tries to tell you that you need to take some fish supplements, throw a head of lettuce at them. Looking at my food intake for yesterday from the lettuce alone, I got 387% of my omega-3s. Hope you enjoyed my blood test boasting vlog it. You'll still be getting a video every Wednesday, but keep an eye out for these little extras that are going to pop up here and there. I'll see you guys soon. Please visit bitesizevegan.com and sign up for the newsletter for free updates, exclusives, and to never miss a nugget. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, as well as watch all of the Bite Size Vegan nuggets on the Bite Size Vegan nugget playlist. And if you're a Facebooker, check out Bite Size Vegan's Facebook page. And go ahead and friend me too to see what I'm up to.